హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ ఐటీపీ ఇడియోపతిక్ త్రంబోసైటోపినిక్ పర్పిరా ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్క్రైబ్ అబౌట్ ద కాజెస్ ఆఫ్ ఐటీపీ ప్యాథోజెనసిస్ ఆఫ్ ఐటీపీ అండ్ క్లినికల్ ఫీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐటీపీ రాదర్ దాన్ క్రియేటింగ్ ఫ్యాన్సీ థింగ్స్ ఆన్ ది స్లైడ్స్ లైక్ క్రియేటింగ్ యానిమేటింగ్ యానిమేషన్ వీడియోస్ ఆర్ క్రియేటింగ్ సమ్ కలర్ఫుల్ స్లైడ్స్ ఐ కాన్సన్ట్రేటెడ్ మోర్ ఆన్ ది కాన్సెప్ట్స్ behind the ITP. I want to give you a clear concept about the ITP. In ITP, the child will be healthy. Then suddenly they will present with acute onset of uh, echomatic patches or petechiae or any minor bleeds like epi- epistaxis. Mother will clearly tell the baby is absolutely normal till morning or till yesterday evening. Then suddenly she will tell like she will notice the one echomatic patches or the some echomatic patches over the body this is how they present with itp then we have to suspect any healthy child with sudden onset of rashes like petechiae or echomatic patches then you have to suspect itp what is the cause for uh, itp the cause for itp is idiopathic means the reason is not known but some studies are telling the idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura is secondary to auto antibodies which will be which is developed against this viruses like epstein barr virus hiv h pylori and following vaccination they will have this means the antibodies are directed against this virus these antibodies which are direct against the virus as a protective mechanism like acts against their own platelets in this i explained about the pathogenesis of itp if you understand the pathogenesis then it is very easy for you to treat the itp just follow the flow chart to understand the itp pathogenesis of itp see once there is infection with virus or bacteria our body will produce the antibodies as a protective mechanism if it is normal antibody it should act against the virus or bacteria only it should not act against the our own body cells but in itp it acts whatever the antibodies which act against the virus or bacteria will act on the self cells means our own body cells here in itp it will act against the gp1b receptors of the platelet means these antibodies which are produced against the virus will bind to the platelets and form the antibody antigen complex means antibody platelet complex this antibody and platelet complex reaches the spleen once it reaches the spleen it is recognized by the macrophages see every antibody will have fab end and fcn right the fab end is already bound to the platelets the free end is fcn this fcn is recognized by the macrophages which are present in the spleen once it is recognized by the macrophages present in the spleen it will activate the complement system you know right once the complement system you know right once the complement system is activated it will cause the rapid destruction of the cells same thing happened here the complement system is activated once fc and is recognized by the splenic macrophages this complements will rapidly destroy the platelets once platelets are destroyed then it is called as thrombocytopenia rapid destruction of platelets then followed by thrombocytopenia the child will present with the clinical features of thrombocytopenia i will explain the clinical features of thrombocytopenia in next slide the clinical features in itp are bruising and petechiae most commonly they will present with bruising and petechiae sometimes they will present with ecchymosis sometimes with minor epistaxis but rarely they will present with higher like menorrhagia melina intracranial bleeds see as you go down from top to down top to bottom the severity will increase means the bruising and petechia is comparatively minor symptoms but intracranial hemorrhage is very severe symptom uh, if there is severe symptoms then we have to treat the child aggressively what are the investigations in itp obviously itp indicates there is thrombocytopenia usually they will have platelet count of less than 20000 per millimeter cube if you do peripheral smear the platelet size is either increased or normal in size and we have to do along with these two tests we have to rule out other 
diseases like malignancies, DIC, and Evans syndrome, etc. In malignancy, the hemoglobin is low, WBC will be high, and differential count show lymphocytes. So we have to do total counts also, CBC also, complete blood picture also. Along with that, to rule out Evans syndrome, we have to do direct Coombs test. If you want to rule out DIC, DIC disseminated intravascular coagulation. We have to do PT, APTT, INR, and D dimer and fibrinogen values. The treatment of ITP I will explain in my next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my video. Please subscribe my channel.